Are you sick of having to throw away clothes because your kids or your husband are always getting holes in them? Well, let me show you how to fix them. Make sure to watch to the very end of this video because I'm gonna let you know about our 200 subscriber giveaway that we are getting ready to do and how you can enter in for that. Have you been dreaming about living a homesteader life? Have you been wondering what it takes to be a homesteader? Well, I combined a bunch of different lists that I found on the internet of what every homesteader needs to know. And I made one master list and we are gonna check off this list one at a time. Some of these things I am super excited to share because I'm already really passionate about them. While some others I'm a little bit more nervous to try, but I'm gonna challenge myself and do it. So let's get started. On my list of everything that a homesteader needs to know, it has listed the skill of learning how to sew and also how to darn socks. I am going to show you how to darn a sock, but I'm also going to show you how I fix and repair a couple of coats and my husband's snow pants that he's torn a hole into. A lot of times it's easier to just buy new things, but as we're trying to become more self-sufficient and also being wiser about using our resources, we're finding that it's better to fix things, especially if we can catch them early on before the damage is bad instead of just tossing things and buying new all the time. Here's one of our kiddos jackets that has several holes in it that I'm going to repair. I use the invisible stitch, which some people also call the ladder stitch. The nice thing about this stitch is when you do it correctly, you shouldn't see any of the thread showing through. So as you can see, this is a black coat and I'm using a white thread, but I'm not super worried about it because this stitch shouldn't show it. The nice thing when you are repairing clothes is you can look at the holes that are left from the original seam and follow those holes because it will help you know where to stitch and to place your needle. I continue to work along the seam using the invisible stitch and every little bit I pull the thread so that it will close up. I have no clue how but this kiddo broke both seams under both of his arms in his coat. And before you think that maybe it's because the coat is too small, the coat is actually a size big so that he could wear it longer. While I was sewing the coats, one of our curls brought me her bunny rabbit that had holes all over it. I used the same stitch to close up these holes. Here are my husband's snow pants. He wears these for all the farm chores that he does during the winter time. He split the seam in one of the legs of the pants. And this fabric is a little harder to work with and usually I would switch to a thicker and sharper needle, but the majority of my sewing supplies are packed up and in storage for us showing our house.
Next up, I'm gonna show you how to darn a sock. Darning a sock means that you repair holes in socks so you're not tossing socks every time you get a tiny hole in them. It's best to catch these holes when they are small before they get super big. You wanna use something round to put into your sock. Normally I use a round wooden ball that our kids have in their blocks, but I couldn't find it. This soccer stress ball worked just fine. I sew around the edge of the hole. This will strengthen up the area before I start trying to repair it. Next, you'll want to sew lines going up and down along the hole of the sock. Normally, I'll go down one way, and if they're not close enough together, I'll sew more lines going up and down, going back the other way. Next, I'll work perpendicular lines, weaving them in an up and down pattern through the strands that I already put in. You don't have to worry about catching every single strand, but you just want an overall weaving pattern of going over and under. When I do this over and under motion near the edges where there is some sock fabric left, I will grab little bits of fabric to help strengthen the weave. Continue all the way down using the over and under pattern until you've created an entire patch full of threads. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you were able to learn something along with me and that I was able to share so that you could understand how you could possibly fix some things instead of just throwing it away all the time. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we are going to do a 200 subscriber giveaway when we do our very first live, which I'm super excited to do our first live. And I'm a little nervous at the same time. To enter in for the 200 subscriber giveaway, please comment down below. Um, comment anything you want. Let me know what you like of the video, but make sure to put in enter me in for the 200 giveaway And then I'll make sure that your name is entered in our 200 subscriber giveaway. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you later